<laughs> story of my life you know acting all how can i say like a dove and you know sometimes acting like i'm so stupid in their eyes and acting smart at the same time you get what i'm saying you know one of the things that you will only learn when it finally happens is you will realize that it pays off to choose a unique path in life it pays off and let me tell you something they thought you were just stupid and they will even tell you you're stupid you will even hear it uh, behind your back that is being said that you're stupid but you know what matters the most is how do you act and to show that there is no way of or you shouldn't try to prove a point jesus when he started to minister they were saying could we know him the son of the carpenter how come what can he tell us and i can assure you during those times before he could minister he was he knew what he was capable of doing but because the time was not yet right he never tried to prove a point or else he would get out of the calling of the lord let me tell you some things you don't have to get out of where god has placed you because the moment you want to prove a point you're getting out of the wheel the moment you want to show them i can do it they will laugh i don't know how many times but one thing i've learned since i don't drink i would see how people react when people when uh, i was even sharing this not so long i was like they be offering you alcohol to drink when you're with your friends especially as you're growing peer pressure come on just take a sip ah oh, come on there's nothing wrong but you realize one thing the moment they suspect you drank or you took a sip although they were saying there was this nothing wrong they were like huh even you how so you drink ah. now it becomes news all over so that is shows that it is a way in which they are tricking you into getting out of character putting yourself away disqualifying yourself satan uses them that is why at times you they might be doing what they're doing you keep quiet nobody as dangerous than a quiet person you get what i'm saying i have no taste even that on my own how common it is uh let me just say for example i would realize that whenever i would bump into a lady that drinks in fact a party animal kind of lady they would look at me as in like well i always knew that i'm not interested in women who drink under normal circumstances and i can never marry such that's how it is so but then it's not like they would not move closer to me and then it's not like i'm just gonna you get what i'm saying but one common thing is, is this i would realize how those girls or ladies or women who drink and they see you don't drink they usually look at you as like you're stupid they don't they fail to understand that for you not to take alcohol and consume it means you have thought about something you have weighed you are too smart in actually you were not under peer pressure or what you never got to be in that point it means your thinking is deeper so with them being able to do this and them dating men who drinks they look at a person who doesn't as if like it's just these are the stupid ones and you from a distance you see how messing up they are doing once they start to get drunk you can see oh my gosh that's one of the common things i've realized oh, okay you know what sometimes in life yeah people think they are ahead of the game whereas you you are standing in a building where you can see everything clearly they themselves they can just only see the bit of you but the one who's on top is seeing better than the one underground that is why even when it comes to snipers when they want to assassinate some they will stand on tall buildings and do so shoot why so because he knew at that point it is difficult to locate someone who is up there as compared to someone who's down there that is why at the end of the day it's not everything that you have to try to prove a point it is not every time where you should try to wanna get out of character showing that i can do it joseph was in a situation where as a you were supposed to have proven that he's a man and even to this very day i can assure you you run away from a woman they will laugh at you oh men are like this especially with men it is hard it is hard in fact in terms of you run away you are stupid they don't look at it like oh wow you oh wow wow no so even joseph it appeared like he was just stupid 
and to make it worse to him he got arrested for something that he did not even do so can you imagine i'm sure at some point you will feel like ah huh, maybe i should have just done it because what did it help me to run away i'm still arrested the lord did not deliver me maybe i should have allowed it it would have happened nobody would have known <laughs> Let me tell you, living a life that is different, it's so beneficial, honestly. You will realize that the outcome of your life at the end won't be the same as others. I've got to realize that. At times when things would happen and people would want to understand how is it possible, when I would say feel like helping out, I would realize, but ah, come on, even if I want to help out, how do I start? Because... You and I, we are two different beings. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like this. Uh, you get married to uh, a drunkard while you yourself, you're not a drunkard. Do you think, comparing to someone who does not get married to a drunkard, do you think your marriages are going to be the same? No, no ways. The time that that one is indoors, that is the time where that one is outdoors, drunk. And... By the time that one is indoors, what are the most things to likely happen? Good things, nothing bad. But then, someone who went to drink and come back, they are most likely to come back drunk. They might swear, they might cause havoc. So you see, you cannot go the same route. The Lord says, the things of God are foolishness to those who are perishing. Let me tell you, they will torment you. They will laugh at you. They will say different things. You keep quiet. Jesus went quiet. It seemed like he was stupid. He was in the cross. If you are the son of God, take yourself out. He was healing men. He saved the men. But now he can't save himself. Tell me, as a man, wasn't the ego provoked? He knew I am God. I created all this. I am the creator. You are telling me that, you get what I'm saying? Just imagine yourself as a creator, knowing that you have all the power to just take this entire earth and then just like that it is gone and make it to vanish just like that. And you remain alive. The very same things that you know they are under your creation, they are telling you you are nothing. Wouldn't you want to prove a point? I love the Lord because he was in self-control. Listen. Let me try not to explain this word deeper and deeper because I might end up confusing you. But yes, let them think you're stupid. At the end, they will be shocked. Sometimes I can see myself, even right now, there are some people that I end up realizing the way they had a perspective about me. Some could just tell they thought I was just one of those stupid guys. That ah, this one is a fool. I can just see the way they react. So it means all along these people, they were never taking me serious, right? I wonder how down they were looking at me. Now because they see this. Now they see this person is not how we thought. That is why there are some actions that makes you look like you are stupid in the eyes of men. But you are not. In Jesus' mighty name, your enemies will be ashamed. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.